斗，猴斗，猴斗 ，Won't be long, hey. The only way is up, da da, baby, da da, for all our cryptos. <laughs> Welcome everybody to a live episode of Savage Cash. Here with me, your superhero of cryptocurrency, the Supo Man, coming to you live from my palatial room here in Dubai. It has been epic since I've been here. It is roasting. Outside, and I'll show you some views in just a sec. But it has been amazing. Everything has been amazing the last kind of forty-eight hours. In all honesty, I mean, look at the market today. The market is just—it's a dreamy, dreamy. I was looking at my block folio yesterday, and I was just over the frigging moon with the insane gains that have been made. On most of the cryptocurrencies that I've holding, and most of the cryptocurrencies that I've been talking about, so it has been nothing short of amazing. So if you guys are so happy with the way things are going right now, if you are in green, smash up ye old likes, smash up the likes. Actually, I should probably be a little bit quieter, shouldn't I? Because I haven't got my normal microphone right now. If you are in green, yeah, I haven't got my I haven't got my normal microphone right now, so I'm probably sounding a lot louder. Than normal, right? So bear with me. By the way, guys, today I'm feeling slightly hungover, hence I've got ye old bottle of water because last night was quite the night. So yesterday I got into Dubai at about half past eight p.m. and I was just going to chill out in in this palatial room, like I said. And、uh, and then Boxman was like, "Oh, you coming to this mixers event?" And I was like. What mixers event? He was like, "There's an event where you know it's a social. Everybody's like meeting up, and all the people that are here." And I was like, "I didn't know about it." And so I kind of was—I、um, was going to say kind of、um, strong-armed into going to it, but actually it didn't take much much persuading. And yes,、yeah, so it was it was well cool. So last night met a ton of awesome people, including these peeps, obviously Data Dash, Box Mining, and this geezer from <laughs> All Coin Buzz. A lot of people saying. I thought he was. I thought it was Jay. So Jay isn't here, but this geezer is. So he's going to be with us tomorrow. So、um, if you didn't already know, if you've been somehow living under a rock, then I am at this Future Armor Blockchain Innovator Summit, and at the moment I think they're just talking about ICOs or about to. They've just had a panel discussion about artificial intelligence and how blockchain can revolutionise artificial intelligence. If you are one of those crypto geeks like me. And you want to kind of be in and see what's being said, then you can actually go to this live stream here and essentially be at the event, right? So this live stream, Future Armor Blockchain Summit from ICO Expert, check it out because essentially you will be able to see everything that's been talked about. Okay, and there have been some really good presentations so far. Brock. Brock Pierce of all people, he is a character. I've not actually met him yet. I was still asleep when this was going on.、Um, yeah. So if you want to know what's going on, then basically just watch this, and you are here. That's what I've been doing instead of actually attending, like I should be, and、uh, like these two are, like these two boffins are. Look, they're actually at the event. They're there right now, actually watching. But I'm doing the opposite because that's how Superman rolls. Just does what he wants, essentially. Anyway, so market cap is looking exceptional,、uh, unbelievable to be absolutely honest. Bitcoin is now making its way towards ten thousand. If you're wondering why I've got the sunnies on, ye old sunnies, the reason why is because I'm looking rough. Okay, that's just the pure and simple fact. So apologies if you can't see my eyes, but that is the pure and simple reason why I am not showing my eyes because I just look rough as fuck. So anyway, yeah. So Bitcoin moving up towards ten k, Ethereum moving up towards eight hundred dollars, Ripple moving up to one dollar. Bitcoin Cash has actually gone over fifteen hundred dollars. EOS has had a slight drop, but don't be fooled by this slight drop. It did have a massive rally before coming down. And of course, what happens when you know every, when something was rallying while everything else was going down? Well, everything else goes up, and then what was rallying goes down. So don't be deceived. By the fact that's going down, because come June 
and, and July, when you know the platform is actually up and running, I think that EOS is absolutely going to skyrocket. I think it's going to go to here, and potentially here. So don't be deceived. Cardano is obviously going to be slower work. That's had a bit of a pullback as well. So if you're wanting to get into Cardano before the rocket ship, then could be a good idea. But let's have a lucky work and see what are the top gainers. So Loom Network, I am having savage FOMO with this. I was going to buy this the other day at 28 cents. I think I told you that. And then they got listed on Binance, and then they've just been going from strength to strength. So I am really FOMOing on that. Nano have some kind of Binance competition, so that's the reason why they're up in the headlines today. Zillica doing extremely well. Glad with that. IOTA also doing well. So what's going on with ye old IOTA? Well, they have launched something called the Cubic Project. Okay, so this Cubic Project is something they're going to be working on or prioritizing over 2018 and 19, and it's going to be smart contracts, outsourced computational power, and more. So they've introduced it, they've teased it, essentially. They're doing a Superman. They're teasing, TZ. They're throwing the sweets in everyone's direction, aren't they? So, also, Matrix. Now, they have had an AMA, and here's a summary of their main features. Now, Matrix had, had, not sure if it still is, but it's having a great rally. It has been under, and I said this is one of the ones that's going to boom uh, in the next bull run. And let's have a look. 24%. Look at that. Savage as four. Look at that. Absolutely skyrocketing. And it went literally from, in a couple of, de from, in a, cu a couple of days' work, this is, 90 cents to over... Well, yeah, 90 cents to nearly $1.30. So, insane in the membrane. Come on. Insane in the brain. More bullish news. So, POA. If you haven't yet, uh, if you haven't yet invested in POA and you like the sound of this proof of authority um, kind of cr cryptocurrency, I was talking to you about it the other day, they are going to be launching POA Bridge in uh, a few days' time, 10th of May. Decentralized application built on the proof of authority network. This unique never been done before. The POA cross-chain bridge simply serves as a method of transferring POA native tokens from the POA network to the Ethereum network in a quick and cost-efficient manner. No fees for users in the trial period. Okay, so this could lead to a spike. And looking at how POA is right now, I don't think it's actually properly spiked yet. So, look, 73 cents. This is likely to power it. Likely to power it. Not saying it absolutely will, but it's likely to power it. So there we are. So that's POA. Now, Walton Chain has been listed in the Korean uh, IoT Alliance, Internet of Things Alliance. This has had a good impact on the price today, or certainly last time I looked at it. 7%. They've made a number of PR disasters and had a humongous dip since their all-time high, which was over, four, I think it was over $40, or nearly $40, and then it tanked all the way down to $8, and now it's making its rise up, so they're trying to build their credibility. I'd know all about that. What else? So, outside of this news, we have got lawmakers in South Korea looking to lift the ban on ICOs. So lawmakers are looking to legalize new ICOs in South Korea. Opposite of FUD, right? So it's, it's now we're seeing some bullish news. This is what we always thought was going to happen during the bull run. You know, it's like a setup. A setup. But it's not a bad setup. It's not a bad thing. Just as long as you make sure that you don't get caught up in it. Because, you know, what happens is, is that, you know, when everything rises, as it does during a bull market, like it did during over December, January, and a bit of February, then as long as you can sell at the top, if that's what your strategy is, then that is really the key thing. Um, now, this is interesting. Four reasons why cryptocurrency still hasn't gone mainstream. So despite the, despite the fact that over the last year it's been in turbo mode growth, there are some key reasons why it is still not becoming mainstream. And I think it's just going to be a question of time. And with time will come ease of use, simplicity, and all that kind of thing. So he's saying here four reasons why. Crypto is hard to spend. That's becoming increasingly solved. You know, we're seeing debit cards and uh, fiat to crypto and all that kind of thing. We're going to be seeing ethos. We're going to be seeing block port. We're going to be seeing it so much easier to buy into cryptocurrency with fiat and to actually spend your cryptocurrency when you have bought in. So that's, that's a work in progress. Crypto is too abstract. It remains still quite poorly understood. Crypto is too volatile. 
I actually think that's one of the key draws of it, but on a long-term basis, it's probably one of the, the uh, well, on a short-term basis, it's probably one of the factors why people have left. If you look at January, where people were making real savage gains, and then all of a sudden, everyone was making savage losses from January up to this point, you know, so people, that volatility has put a load of people off. And, of course, it prompts too many legal questions. And that is why, you know, we're getting kind of regulation coming in, which many see as a good thing. Really, it's going to add legitimacy to the space. It's going to kind of, I think it's going to get rid of some of the ones that people don't know. Is it going to stay? Is it going to go once the SEC have kind of analysed it properly? And I think that, you know, when the G20 summit leaders kind of get together and start implementing some regulation is when we're probably going to start seeing some cryptos going <clears throat> and some surviving and we're going to probably see that is when you know some of the longer term cryptos we're going to have more of an indication of what's going to stick around if or when the bubble bursts so some good stuff going on right now by the way peeps if you are going to see ian bellina tonight he's actually in london i know that we were going to do a london meetup we probably are um i don't know yet i've been conversing with with my man Ian, who I could see on, um, but uh, yeah, we haven't sorted anything out yet, but uh, if you're going tonight, I'm not going to be there, but still go if you're in and around that area, he's touched down in London, so I'm sure it'll be absolutely fun, fun for all, so let's see what questions you peeps have, and see if there's anything I can answer, hopefully I'm still live, can't really tell. I think I've got relatively decent Wi-Fi edge in this room. Smash up your old likes. I'm surprised a thousand people are watching because I'm coming on extremely early. In Dubai, it's three hours ahead of the UK. And in the UK, it's about mm, nearly 10 a.m. And I always come live at about 5 p.m. in the UK. So this is just like weird time to be live. But a great time to be alive, peeps. We are back in business, just like we want to be. So let's have a look and see... Oh, whoops. Click the wrong video there. Let's have a look and see what you guys are saying. Limpo. Let's have a look at Limpo. I was talking with Box Mining last night about this Limpo challenge. He's trying to get me into it. I'm fine with that. But I ain't paying... <laughs> He's like got this 100,000 Limpo challenge or something. Um, so, you know, I personally don't want to risk it, risk it, because I'm quite bad with diet, so I think I'm going to stay behind it, but look at that, 15% since yesterday, it's just going from strength to strength, look at that, it was right down to one cent, literally, you know, uh, just under a month ago, about three weeks ago, and now it's absolutely powering away, nearly eight times gain since then. Miss you yesterday. Yes, yeah, Soz. So I was going to go live, but um, at this, uh, where we were, which was called the Soho Garden, which is just this insane outdoor nightclub, basically. Uh, I had no Wi-Fi, so I couldn't go live. So, Soz. Soz about, soz about you. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was one I was meant to talk about. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm probably not going to find it now. Um, 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 um. Where is it? Where is it? No, it's not here. Right, um, what's it called? Hold on. It's a it's a new one. It's a, ah, that's it, that's it. Hold on. So uh, let me get let me get the old page up. Solana. So this is a cryptocurrency I thought I would tell you guys about. So it's a new cryptocurrency project that's uh, coming out. I think it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna be uh, private sale and ICO or just private sale. I'm not involved in it. However, look at this. Solana is a high performance blockchain. This is one to definitely keep an eye on. Apparently already achieving 710,000 transactions per second. Wow! Without data partitioning. Sorry peeps, but it had to be said. Wow! Now this looks insane in the membrane. Come on! Insane in the brain. So I'm looking to bring you more information on this. Um, yeah, bringing more information on this soon. I don't know a lot, but this is a name that was, uh, I was talking about with um, Data Dash last night, actually. He t told me about this, and, uh, and I thought, wow, yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. So this is one definitely to keep an eye on. So it's uh, Solana.io. Check it out if you're interested. In the meantime, let's have a look around. So let's attempt to give you some form of tour. So bear with, bear with. 
I'm going to see uh, if I can do this and do this well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Right, okay. I represent Queen. She was made in Brooklyn. Right, okay. So let's let's move this. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. So um, so uh, yeah. Let's have this in the background. So um, oh, so this is this is basically ye old room. Look at that. Bed's made and all that. I can't take credit for that. I didn't actually make the bed. So yeah. So um, I'm going to appear really dark. But here is the outside. Hold on. I'm going to, um, let me just make sure you can, oh, you probably can't see very well. Uh, how do you open this thing? Ah, here we are, here we are. So here's the outside. Wow. Oh, it is so insanely hot out here. It's so insanely hot. So check that out. Check out that bad boy. It's unbelievable out there. Look, it's the racetrack. It is the Dubai racetrack. Don't actually know. So this is, this is the balcony. This is my balcony. Uh, and I'm high up, I'm on like the seventh floor. Uh, um, yeah, anyway, so, bed made. How beautiful is that? Uh, yeah, look at this, it's like an apartment. It's not really a hotel room, it's like an apartment. Although it's quite disconcerting, you can see into the bathroom there. So if I was having a bath and box mining or data dash or whoever should so happen to be in this room, they would see me having a bath, disconcerting. I'd prefer it if you couldn't see inside but you could see outside so here's here's the bathroom look at that not oh look at that fat belly <laughs> yeah here's the bathroom look, it's a jacuzzi type bath right there and toilet if you're interested in what the toilet looks like <laughs> and then the shower if you're interested in what the shower looks like it's one of these massive power shower heads it's insane in the membrane so yeah so that that is Casa del Supo, man, today. So, yeah, look. So, you come in. Come in through the door. And, yeah, look. Come in through the door. And then this is what you see. It's just insane. It's just insane. Dubai knows how to do it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. So, Mexico. So, that is the state of play. That is the state of play today. <laughs> that probably came out really bad. I have no idea. I didn't practice it. So let's put that over here. Let's put me here. And there we are. Back to normality. So, any more questiones? Hopefully that all came out okay. <laughs> uh huh. Fat boy, yeah. You look like Simon Cow. I do a bit, don't I? I do look a bit like Simon Cow. I've even got the fat stomach like Simon Cow does when he's uh, spending his time in Barbados. You need a woman. <laughs> well, that bed is definitely going... Look at that bed, man. Look at that bed. It's just going to waste. It's just going to waste. Look at it. It's massive. It's massive. Um, top three altcoins you think the institutional money will invest in? Well, they're going to invest in um, infrastructure. Okay? So, I was... Um, so, obviously, you saw that I met up with um, ye old lads last night. But there were a ton of people. A ton of people last night I got talking to. And... Uh, and... There is a massive appetite for infrastructure, okay, massive appetite. The dApps, I think we were pretty much all in agreement about dApps. dApps are quite seasonal. They're, they're you know, they kind of have their time and they potentially have this risk of losing value when another thing comes out, whether it's a better version of what they're doing or just you know, a, a more disruptive technology. People take their money out of what they invested in a few months ago, put it into something new. Infrastructures tend to keep the holders, so the institutional money really does go to the holder. No, sorry, does go to the kind of infrastructure cryptocurrencies. So, you know, like the things I was talking to you, talking to you about, Holochain, Hashgraph, IOTA, Ethereum, EOS, Cardano, um, Solana, more than likely as well. So the money's going into these. They, that's what they're going into, okay? If it's... Um, if it's you know stuff to do with infrastructure, protocol, or personal identification, these are big things. So you know, sovereign, for instance, coming out soon. A lot of institutional money went into that. Um, a lot of the guys I was speaking to last night have gotten into that. You know, before it's even come out. So I am not in sovereign, um, but you know, there's you know, but that's where the institutional money really is going, going into the high performance 
um, things that are here to last kind of thing. But I do think things like uh, Power Ledger, Ethos, these are D apps that can't really die because they're the, they're the first to come into you know the market, build up a community base. The people that come in afterwards, you know, like the Breads can't compete with Ethos. You know, the Electrify Asia's, the We Powers, the Restart Energies can't compete with Power Ledger. They are more established. Those are D apps that are killer apps and Nex and stuff like that. So um, decentralized exchanges and infrastructure coins or projects are the ones where the institutional monies are going. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. <laughs> God, Brock Freddy is looking so good. Oh, God, Brock Freddy is too good at the moment. Let's have a look. There is no maid here. The maid has been and gone and done her, done her job for the day. Let's have, a look at, let's have a look at credits. Nice. Credits is going up. I still hold credits. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate it. I rarely wear white, and the reason why is because it's so it's so cold in England. Normally, you only wear white when it's hot, right? Because it kind of um, deflects the sun. So I normally wear black, and in the UK, that's fine, because I will absorb any heat possible. But here, it's just so damn hot. Honestly, in this room, it's nicely air-conditioned, so I'm feeling really cool right now. But as soon as you go out onto that balcony, it's just like this wave of humidity hits you. It's just like this this 35-degree heat wave just, just blows your mind. And when you live in England, where it's like, you know, less than 10 degrees most of the time, then, you know, you're just not used to stuff like this. Blockport won't destroy ethos. <laughs> Get over it. But they are good, no, no doubt about it. But they're just on a different. They, what they do is a different thing, you know. They've got like it's like a centralized, decentralized exchange. That's why it's a hybrid exchange. Fusion is a monster, yes. Debitum dead? I don't think Debitum's dead. It only really started. Um, it was going up last night. It went up to eight point three cents. So you know, but like I said, it's you know, it's it's one of those. Um, it came out during a bear market, so it's, uh, well actually no, it came out at the end of the bull market, so it kind of had a, um, you know, had a, had a quick rise then and then a steep downfall. Did you get laid last night? No. <laughs> well, I did get laid, yeah, I laid myself on that bed, that was it, but I didn't sleep till like 5am last night, hence why I got up really late, and whilst box mining and, uh, Data Dash are geeking out at the actual conference, which is just downstairs and out the hotel room door. Um, I'm in here, you know, because that's just how the Superman rolls. But if you do want to watch what's going on live right now, then you can on this stream here, the Future Armor Blockchain Summit type situation. So let me just get that, put it in ye old live. Tomorrow, me, Data Dash, Box Mining, and Altcoin Buzz. Are going to be um, are going to be doing some YouTube. Um, what's it called? What's it called? Going to be doing some YouTube um, panel thingy. So let me just show you. So keep an eye on that for tomorrow. Okay. So yeah. So today we've got some VR stuff happening. Some ICOs in the VR space. Um, got some ICOs. It's one thirty. So that's in twenty minutes. I might go and have a look. I saw something that's really cool. Um, oh, what are they called? Uh, I want to say, I want to say, no, no, it's a no, Noia, Noia, N-O-I-A. I think they're trying to create a new internet. They're trying, I think they're trying to do a substratum. So I'm going to go down and have a look at that. And then there's some VR stuff. I don't know if um, Seeker in here, but um, there's some VR kind of cryptocurrencies. And, uh, and yeah, so, um, so anyway, yeah, so if you're, um, stuck with something, you want to watch something tomorrow, check this out tomorrow, panel discussion, the role of traditional and social media in implementing blockchain technologies, there you've got Nicholas Merton, Sashwat from um, Altcoin Buzz, Box Mining and Supo Michael apparently, Supo Michael, <laughs> interesting, interesting, so anyway, any other Christianes? <laughs> YouTube awesome. Yes, indeed. Good day okay, bad day okay. Oh, Box Mining's in the house. Box Mining's in here. Are you geeking it out? <laughs> You're geeking it out in the old blockchain summit. Uh, Karan is here. Vil Stutz is here. 
What room am I in? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say what room I'm in right here. I'll tell you on ye old Skype. <laughs> uh oh. Something tells me that uh, that we may get bombarded. Bombardment. Bombardment. Anything else? Anything others? Lambden. Landon kind of died. What did you have for dinner? Actually, yesterday I had no dinner. Yesterday, my dinner was like a liquid dinner. Yesterday, I was having just, you know, just having ye old alcohol. And this morning, shihi, I woke up and just had the headache from hell. Headache from hell. I meant to have water. Now I've got it. It's a bit fucking late for that. So yes. So yes. Any other sphinx? <laughs> I love saying that. That's my new thing. And he has a sphinx. You say on my mind. Da, 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 da. On my mind. Every night. High performance blockchain. High performance blockchain has a real chance of being usurped by these high performance blockchain peeps. 710 trans K transactions per second. High performance blockchain is looking to get to a million. Um, looking to get to a million. Um, I don't know how their current beta or beta, however you say it, um, is doing. However, um, <laughs> however, you know these guys are already achieving 710k transactions a second. So these guys are looking really promising. Um, it all depends on the token metrics, which I know nothing about ATM. But look at this. So we got Visa, 65,000 transactions per second. Google, 344,000. Nasdaq, 500,000, and then Solana leading the way. I mean, basically, this is better than credits, which their, pre their beta is, I think, is um, 500k. So Solana, wow. I mean, I mean, this is legit. This is legit shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so there we are, Marble Arch. Omnitude Formula One. Yes, they have, I think, I don't know if it's official yet. I spoke to Chris Painting last night from Omnitude, and he was telling me that they've got a, a, a deal with Williams F1. I don't know the details of that deal, ATM, but um, I just know that it's happening. Um, Internet no token, still the next IOTA. Yes, the IOTA of China, in fact. That was actually how I badged it, the IOTA of ye olde China. And how's that doing? 40 cents. Get in. How do you know Solana's legit? Because um, I'm connected to a number of people who look into the technology. Okay. And, uh, you know, and that is now where I, um, that's, that's kind of where I look now. I look to these people to legitimize the opportunity before I get into it. So that is essentially... Um, yeah, that is that. So that's how I I kind of have an indication these guys are legit. But um, yeah, that's how I have an indication that these guys are legit. But I don't hundred percent know. I've not seen these guys perform. Um, but you know, Quark Chain is also coming out, and that is something I'm also very bullish on. So um, so yeah, there we are, Marble of the Arch variety. Um, All right, let's try this. Let's try this, okay? We're going to try something, all right? Bear with me. Uh, hold on. I'm going to take you guys with me. May work, may not work. So, um, hold on. You stay on my mind. Da -da -da -da. On my mind every night. I'm going to take you on a tour of ye old. what's it called? What's this place called? Um... What's this place called? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a Madonna, something like that, hotel. Look at it, look at it. Hold on, let me see, let me check that you can actually see stuff. Uh, yeah, here we are. Let's make Miss End bigger <laughs> while I take you on this tour. Right, so, yeah, well nice hotel, well nice hotel. Keep the land straight, keep the land straight, steady on the left. Keep the land straight, keep the land straight, stay on the left. So look at this, look at this lift. So look, this is, this is the downstairs area. Look, it's like, it's, it's like um, you can just see everything. It's glass, glass stuff, glass stuff. Aha, here's the lift, right. You stay on my mind. This is all you, this is what you get with a Supo man. 
Stick with the SIPO man. Uh, there we are. Stick with the SIPO man. This is what you get with SIPO man. Yeah, check this out. Look, look. I'm taking you with me. <laughs> look at this place. Look at this place, man. It's so insane. Look at that lift. It's got glitter. The glitter bug. Do, 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 the glitter bug. Hopefully I've got enough battery here. Oh god, it's busy. It's busy. You stay on my mind. Da, 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 da. On my mind. Every night. So now you're gonna see you're gonna see what this insane hotel looks like. And it is pretty insane. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's so hot out there. Dubai. This is the literally the most insane place I've ever been to, personally speaking. Like, I always kind of wanted to come here to Dubai, but um, I didn't think it was going to be quite this exceptional. But it's proved to be so far. So, there we are, Marble Arch. So I'm just going to walk through basically this ho whole hotel with you guys so that you can get a, a sightseeing tour, basically see how it all looks everybody's just like enjoying their food right now everybody's having some ye old alcoholage all fun all fun beautiful people here as well i mean it's truly beautiful everything is beautiful everything is beautiful hopefully you guys are still with me You stay on my mind. Can you still see me? <laughs> What's up, bro? Yosef Brosef! <laughs> oh, how's it going, man? No, it's good, mate. It's good. How, yeah. where, how come you've, uh, how come you've kind of uh, given yourself permission to uh, take a break from the conference? Today's the guy who didn't even show up. I did show up, no. That's my <laughs> style, that's my style, man. Let me make sure that actually everything is... So we're yeah. going to watch ourselves, right? This is like... We're going to watch ourselves. I'm going to go on my on YouTube and be like, <laughs> let me search this Supo... Supo Man? Is, is that what your name is? Yes, Supo it Michael. is. And it's not... And it's not... Supo Michael. And it's not the Minecraft channel, like you were telling everybody <laughs> last night. He has the best Minecraft channel, by the way. Shut up, guys. Um, it's like little Nelly and... Oh, hold on, hold on. Are we on? There we are, hold on, there we are. <laughs> oh, that's my style, man. Let me make sure that actually... Where's Data Dash, this? Is he still, Data Dash is is he still geeking it out? Yes, he's still absolutely. Geeking it out. So, so he's studying hard. Well, actually, the conference mostly finished. There was a keynote speech by Miko Matsumoro. Fucking super awesome, by the way. Um, this, this conference, um, not, not to show it too much, but... Um, there was a lot of legit people here, and there was a lot of good discussions, which is surprising because most conferences end up being ICO show fets. <laughs> and, and this one so far so good. Pretty cool. <laughs> I look like a mess, man. I'm no, like, you don't. How are you feeling after last night? I bet you're all right. This I'm guy, all right. this guy, right? Last night, he was like, he, uh, like I got to the party, and he was like, oh, "I'm gonna make a move now." I'm like, "Come on, stick around." I, I got a cold. My like, my, my throat's like hurting, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I know. And, and you, you locked you're, me there. You you're, you're like, you're like, I won't let you leave. Yeah, I said, "You're not leaving. You're not leaving." And I said, "Stay, stay another ten minutes. Stay another ten minutes." And you stayed till you stayed another four hours, didn't exactly. you? <laughs> exactly. That's that's commitment, man. Party's like a beast. Party's nice. like a beast. We should have just pop pop some doms, and you know, hey. <laughs> Pop some champagne and party it out. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Next time. Of course, of course. So, what's the comments like? Michael, Michael times, times two. two. Michael times two. All right. How are you guys feeling? How's how's everyone feeling today? Well, look, check this out, right? Look, look hey, look, hey, look. we got two gay nerds. Man, let's make out. Let's make out, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it. We'll fulfill Ant Man's Ant Man's dream of watching two gay nerds make out. Look, look, check this out. Check out, check, out these, check out these bad boys. Fuck, check, out my, check out my epic belly. Yeah, how's your limpo challenge going? <laughs> Absolutely terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, like two smoothies. I don't tell Tony G this. I had like, I want two berry smoothies, uh, two glasses of orange juice. So like I'm all carved out all day. Oh, yeah. Uh, so you've you've had, you've carved out. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Man, Ethereum's going up, man. It's 802. Bitcoin, 700. Are these your Randolphs? 
Yes. Those are what is these are those what I was wearing in um some yeah. brand? I tried to get similar oh, ones, but I think I've got right? I think I've got a bluer lens than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I saw you were wearing sunny, so I bought mine as well. All right, bacon egg yes mate, lol. <laughs> Los These Angeles pizza's so funny. House. <laughs> Super bus is coming. Yeah, have you seen? Look, 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 look at that. Look at the market cap. Market cap's absolutely spiking at the moment. I was like looking at my uh, portfolio and... Ethereum's over $800. Jesus. Get in, mofos. Do you reckon, Jesus. here's a question, do you reckon that Ethereum is going to stay the boss of building... Oh man, this is the best discussion yesterday. Yeah, cause, it was cause, good, wasn't it? Because we got, we got people on multiple sides attacking Ethereum. You got the EOS guys, right? You got EOS saying, yeah, you know what? When EOS comes out, it's just a flip things here. And then we got the VChain guys. Yeah, VChain's coming with new ICOs, you know, corporate and everything. We got the NEM guys. We got Waves doing smart contracts. We got um, this every fucking thing out there. Like, look at the whole... Let me just... I, just can't, I can't even show enough. I got, we got Neo... We got everything trying to take a bite out of the smart contract that the app decentralized application space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I do think there's serious competition because every other new platform they're trying to offer as much support as possible to new ICOs coming forward. Like Ethereum, if you want to try to reach reach with Vitalik, don't even think about it. So maybe, maybe there's a chance that there's room for everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. So why can't you come up? Uh, my room key only works for my floor. Oh, does it? Yeah. Is that how it works, is it? Yeah. Like Smart. They, they're, they're much smarter here. Right, come on then. Let's go up. Let's go up. Are you in a hurry? Nah. Because it looks like we're losing the internet signal here. All right. So, 